What's your, if I get caught there's no explanation, story. I was with friends at a local park late at night, like 2 or 3 a.m. Parks close at 11 and a cop doing his drive through check of the park found me and my two friends sitting in a picnic area and we definitely were not supposed to be there. We had all gotten stoned and hatched a ridiculous plan to mess with our other friend. The cop approached us while we were laughing hysterically with a huge bag of potatoes in front of us while we drew sexually charged images on the potatoes with sharpie markers. It was rough trying to explain to him that the penis potatoes were supposed to be a practical joke. We were going to leave them all over our friend's lawn. Somehow he was fine with that and told us to take our potatoes and go somewhere other than the park. I still remember that night fondly. When I was 13 I used to go out to the woods behind the neighborhood, get naked, and light gasoline on fire. My boss left his office door open one time. I was working late that night and went into his laptop to see if he had anything juicy. He did. He had a document with a title something like, What is wrong with 99 Thuzername? It included a handy list of my character flaws. If I had gotten caught, there would have been absolutely no excuse. This reminds me of that old Reddit, TIFU, post about the guy who was having dinner at his wife's boss's house and was served very rare beef. Instead of saying he didn't like his meat rare he waited until the boss went to get something from the kitchen and chucked the steak out an open window so he could pretend he ate it. Only the window wasn't actually open, just very very clean. So the steak slapped against it and fell on the floor and his wife and the boss noticed. Flew on a major airline with a razor blade hidden in my phone case. I was meaning to buy one to peel the window tint off of my car, but I found one at work in a drawer. I didn't have any way to safely carry it so I put it in my phone case behind my phone. I about died when I was on the beach and realized what I had done. Threw it in the trash right away before I forgot again. When I was a teenager my buddy lived in one of those gated communities with security patrol cars at night. We loved sneaking around at night and hiding from them, ding dong ditching and shit like that. Once we found one of those cars empty, so my ballsy friend went and opened it, and stole a radar gun. And there really wasn't a reason just for the lols. I think he still has it. We didn't get caught though. Oh it was epic teenage stupidity. Girl invited me over to a small house party. I was the only guy, score, and there was drinking, new to me. So we all got hammered. Then someone came up with the idea of strip football. All I know is, I'm drunk as hell. All I got left on are my boxers, at least one of them girls was in full underwear, one was actually topless but jeans on. We were all fucking living it up in the backyard when her parents came home unexpectedly and I literally ran, grabbed my jeans that had my wallet in it and just ran for my life from there. Sacrificing my shoes and other clothes in the name of stupidity. When visiting a friend, went straight in, to the wrong house, in their building people keep their doors open. Make myself a cup of tea put on the TV, and wait on the sofa for them to return. Someone else comes in, says nothing, looks at me weird, and goes to the bedroom. Call up my friend to ask when they are coming. They are at their house. They come and pick me up. I was getting ready for a New Year's Eve party and decided I needed to shave but I didn't have any aftershave or shaving cream, so I used a little bit of watered-down vodka just to make sure everything was fresh. But I sort of gave off a vodka smell. Then I realized I needed to pick up drinks for the party so I went to the liquor store but I got kind of lost in a neighborhood because there were a lot of one-way streets and I kept repeatedly passing a police car hanging out at a corner. I realized how suspicious I would look driving around on nice smelling like vodka on my way to the liquor store. Luckily everything went fine and me and my friends partied in my basement and then Ubered to a bar. I was a strange child and I decided that I would hide in my neighbor's bush in a ghillie suit in the pouring rain. I just watched a couple of cars drive by and marveled at the fact that the bush kept most of the rain off my head. My notes app that includes argument defenses in scenarios I made up. I got razor burn on the back of my thigh. I have horrible eyesight so in order to see where the burns are I have to bring my face physically closer to the back of my thigh. Cut over to me, foot up behind my head as I rub lotion on the back of my thigh sitting in my office chair watching Lilo and Stitch. Stealing a truck and driving it home because the owner had agreed to sell it to me, but he was out of town and wanted me to move it before it got towed, but he had the keys and paperwork. It was a short drive, but nervous as hell in a very small cop-saturated town in a hot-wired truck. 
I was in a camp shower stalls, not open, when an unaccompanied kid about four years old started crawling into my stall from below the door. I was telling him to scram, but he wasn't listening. It was only us in the showers at the time. I had no idea where his folks were. I scrambled to put my clothes on, still soaking wet, when it was clear this kid was bent on getting into my stall. I rinsed the soap out of my hair with my clothes on and then took the kid by the hand to find his parents. Had I been caught in the shower with a stranger's child I'd have had a very difficult time explaining it. I found his mom, frantic, about five minutes later. I guess the kid was looking for his dad who he heard was in the showers and he thought I was him. Listening to Never Gonna Give You Up Intentionally. I didn't get caught but I was nervous the whole time. There was an explanation but it still felt sketchy. Bringing my riding crop to school. Sophomore year of high school I showed up with nothing in my backpack but whipped cream, weed and handcuffs three days in a row. If those had happened to be random locker inspection days I don't know what I would have said. Removing the cream from every single Oreo in the box and combining them to make one mega supreme Oreo to rule them all. Taking nudes at the lake. I tried on women's underwear out of a perverted sense of curiosity. I had a SUV filled with ducks and a couple chickens in a graveyard around midnight. Me and the other guy happened to have knives on us, but that was not related. Got busted by the cops, who threatened to charge us for stealing city property for taking the foul from a nearby park, but they let us go. We had been waiting there while an accomplice infiltrated the girl's dorm. The plan was to release them into the dorm. Anything about among us. Me and my friend stole a construction sign and ran down the street with it. One of those big OL orange reflective ones. You know, the ones they designed so you can see them easily. Yeah one of those. Blowing my then boyfriend behind a thin line of bushes mere feet from a semi-busy road. Smelling my dog's feet. This feels like a confessional. I stole a bottle of, holy water, out of the shipping box in the storage room at church, when I was an altar girl. Going outside in full winter gear bundled up to my eyes in the middle of a hot summer night because I saw my dog sniffing something on the ground and was worried it was a dead animal and wanted to check but I have OCD and am fixated on bats and an intense fear of being bitten by a bat so I covered every inch of myself in padded clothing. Wouldn't be surprised if the neighbors saw me. Whenever I'm home alone, I just start yelling random shit and going batshit crazy. The one time I did end up getting caught was when my parents got home from vacation to see me passed out on the couch in nothing but my underwear and a one-gallon tub of ice cream on my head, watching Step Brothers, worst part was, they walked in during the bathroom scene, if you've seen the movie, you'll know. Started using the computer at work for non-work related tasks such as playing games and using websites such as Zillow or LinkedIn. Boss called me in for a meeting with screenshots of the computer I was using. Told him I got no explanation for him. Was fired shortly after. Wasn't too upset about it because I was planning on leaving shortly after anyway. Probably over 10 years ago. On holiday in Majorca, me and my brother met some kids round our age to hang out with AD we all got on. One night we didn't know what to do, so we got chairs from the bar, lobby and pool area and piled them into an elevator. My brother and one kid piled in, and the rest of us ran up the floors, trying to find them. We didn't get caught, but the security were rather confused to find the chairs, it was definitely a highlight. I had my dick out, yes. But L didn't fuck her. Had a not safe for work note in school that said shit like, and he stuck his huge cock into her from behind, story short teacher found it but then corona hit. I used to graffiti, Kilroy was here, along with the titular Kilroy face, on school walls. I just liked the historical reference. I was caught. I was asked why I did it, and if Kilroy was my last name. It's not. I had no explanation. The other day I snapchatted my dog shitting directly into the pooper scooper as I was holding it under her butt. SSO ooh glad my neighbors didn't see that. I have an autistic son who cannot speak. One time at a supermarket he broke away from my handhold, ran and climbed into one of those open freezers and lay down on some frozen dog rolls and began rubbing himself. There is no particular explanation for that that I'm aware of, it wasn't hot or anything. Watching gay porn. Some of my friends were getting stoned by this entitled brat. Keep in mind we were like six or seven at the time. One time we dragged the bully to the alley, shit went down there, and we held them down while one of us ran over them on their bike. 
There were a few others in the alley but they minded their own business. Had we got caught we were done for. But we didn't, we never did. I was a weird kid. I printed out erotic literature and hid it. I took it to the bathroom, to read, and my mom wanted to know what was taking me so long. I ended up ripping it up into tiny pieces over the next 10 minutes and flushing it. When I was younger the best source of entertainment for me was making a torch, I took a stick zipped toilet paper on it and poured something inflatable on it, the I would lit it and throw it as hard as I can into the air so when it would come down it would explode and it looked great. The only problem was that my dad started to notice circles of burned grass. Lurking in my ex's backyard, shoes on but otherwise naked from the waist down. Stepping on a big rock behind the house to see through the bathroom window with my flashlight. I thought man maybe it would not be the best time for somebody to recognize me. Brought a kitchen knife to Disney hidden in the liner of my backpack. Had previously put it in there to cut up fruit, and it somehow ended up getting stuck between the inner and outer layers of the bag. I never noticed until I was literally in the bag check line at Disney. Panicked for a while but no one noticed it. Not long ago, I was playing DCS, World when I was called in by my teacher. I thought that since we were still 26 minutes out from the target that we would be fine so I left the game at full volume. I answered the question and as soon as I turned off my microphone, the radio DCS went crazy as three Su-27s were firing at us. Turns out that they had picked us up on a EWO aircraft that was there and scrambled the fighters. How the hell am I supposed to explain a loud alarm, target locked on us, and a bunch of dudes yelling over a radio that there are a f ton of missiles headed at flight lead. We got lucky, they weren't that good and all fired on out flight leader, poor dude. Had I waited a few more seconds, there would have been a very confused teacher. Having sex with my then girlfriend on the living room couch. I didn't have my own room. Getting caught not using disposable toilet seat covers in public restrooms. I can't quite remember the details but I recall stealing a smart car with about 10 to 12 other dudes at a party. We, simply, picked it up and carried it to my buddy's garage. The next morning me and my buddy felt remorseful and told his neighbor, luckily nothing was no damage, just a few greasy handprints. When I was seven I googled, naked woman, on my grandma's computer. I used to steal my brother's ATV, he's 19 I'm 21, next day I would ride by his house on it and watch his face as everyone was looking for it and I just rode by blaring Rick Roll I never got Rick Rolled as I had noise cancelling headphones. Completely ruining a front end loader it was straight vandalism no doubt about it me and my friend and his his friend were hanging and we saw a front end loader and decided to toss dirt clots at it well friend's friend threw one that had a large rock missed the loader and shattered a window same guy peed into the air filter and put dirt in the windshield wiper fluid I later learned that they had to tow it away. I'm attempting to write a novel, and I'm a firm believer in research. The amount of criminal activity murder related searches in my search history right now along with general knowledge picked up from podcasts would be quite questionable. When I was 17 my best friend invited his girlfriend and a few friends over for Everclear Pong. One of the setup variations in the game involved a basketball hoop that was suction cupped to the wall. Everclear poured a little too heavy and the friend went to sleep. Well the basketball hoop ended up suctioning to all of the wrong parts of the GFS body, she woke up early and didn't know how to explain any of it the boyfriend without hysteria.